Alright everyone, how's it going? Today we are playing The Outer Worlds, if you couldn't tell based on the uh, huge title screen text in front of us there, but uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of talking as we kind of go through some settings and adjust some things that I may have missed before recording. But uh, yeah, we're going to be playing The Outer Worlds. This is the new Obsidian RPG that you most likely know about. If you have uh, been keeping up with gaming news and shit like that or whatnot. But anyway, yeah, this is the new Obsidian RPG. Um, I've been playing a little bit of it so far. Uh, I really, really like what I've played. In terms of difficulty, I guess we'll just go with normal. Uh, but anyway, this isn't really exactly a, a blind playthrough. I, I have played the game. I haven't beaten it yet. But I have played played around with it quite a bit. I'd say I've, I've played maybe about five hours of it. And from what I've played so far, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Here's a good old-fashioned cutscene, so I'll uh, probably shut the fuck up. Or at least I'll try. I'll do my best. Here we have Rick <coughs> from Rick and Morty. Just a, a, a functional version of Rick, essentially. Just Rick if he never turned to alcoholism. That's really all this guy is. I don't even remember his name. Uh, Phineas Vernon Wells. Alright, well, <coughs> that question immediately got answered. And thus we have the character creator. Also, I'm not going to spend all that much time on the character creator. Because, as far as I know, um, there's no way to go into third person in this game like there is in like Fallout or Skyrim or games like that. So, when it comes to my appearance, I really don't care what I look like. But this, this is the stuff that matters. This is These are our attributes. So, what do we... I, I like strength. As a fact, I do like me some strength. We got dexterity, which affects one-handed melee, handguns, dodge, um, blah blah blah. Intelligence, which affects your uh, guns, persuasion, hack. Oh my god, all sorts of. We got all sorts of shit to think about here. Um, perception, blah, blah blah affects all that. So, I'm trying to think of the. Uh, the build that I sort of went with for my initial character. I'm probably going to want to do some things differently, just for the sake of experiencing different aspects of the game. So, uh, intelligence... I think I'm going to set this to below average, because... Um, as you can see, if you read that text down on the right, it says, well, Words are hard, thinking no good, dumb dialogue options unlocked, uh, dumb dialogue options are actually a lot of fun in this game, and uh, I ended up doing this with my first playthrough, and it, this is something I just don't really want to change. I enjoy being the stupid guy in this game. So far, it's just a lot of fun. I think you guys will enjoy it too. As for perception, um, see, I kind of want to veer more on the more on the end of a guns build. Kind of a guns guy. I'm a bit more into guns. Not to not to negate melee weapons. I don't have a problem with melee, but I'm just a, a bit I have a bit more fun when I take a guns oriented approach. So I think I am in a spec into guns. Also charm. Um, one thing I have learned while playing this game, and if you've played Fallout New Vegas, you will you'll be no stranger to this. 
but the speech skills in this game are really, really, really OP. And you can get past a lot of shit just by having a high speech. So I'm going to set this to very high. I also kind of want a... Uh... Let's see, this is lockpick and engineering. I think I'm going to go into perception. I might just leave everything else average, depending on how many points I have. I have one point remaining. That's cool. Uh, strength could be good. This should also... Yeah, this, will, this ups my carrying capacity, which could be good. Although I have noticed that you don't seem to get over-encumbered in this game quite as easily as, say, Fallout. I feel like in Fallout, I was just constantly having to, like, drop stuff or repair stuff. Like, I was always over-encumbered in that game. Temperaments. Uh, this gives us a little bit of health regen. I do like, uh, I do like stuff like that. Also affects two-handed melee, your lying, your sneak, your medical, your engineering, and your determination. I might just set this to good. That could be good. Yeah, we get a little bit more health regen. That could be good. I think I'm good with all that. And now we have got we've got two things that we can sort of uh, select as like tag skills. Remember how with the the Fallout character creator had you kind of select like a tag skill and it would put a it would, it would just sort of dump points into it from the get-go. That's kind of what this is. I think I want to go with go with ranged. I do there we go. That that's looking good. And uh, dialogue. Ranged in dialogue. That looks good to me. That looks very good. And we get to select an aptitude. I don't even I forgot all about this. Holy shit. So, uh, no, dis no discernible aptitude. Also, uh, I don't know if this really applies to you guys watching on YouTube, but on my TV, the text for this game is, like, ridiculously small. It is just a bitch to read. I, I apologize. There's going to be moments where I'll have to pause, because I'll have to literally stand up and get closer to my TV, but that's neither here nor there. So we get to select an aptitude, and this, I guess, um makes it a little bit easier to learn certain skills. Uh, cashier gives us persuasion. That's shock damage. That's kind of random. The uh, engineering plus one. That could be good. I mean, let's just, you know, kind of weigh our options here. N-ray damage received. Some of these just seem oddly specific. Inspiration plus one. Medical plus one. Plasma damage, science plus one, one-handed melee. Um, we could just make a really idiotic, like, science savant, like, like a character who's just absolutely retarded at everything, but they're just a genius scientist. From what I can remember, though, engineering is a pretty useful skill to have. I think I'm just going to go with science, though. We'll change things up. I'm a level zero class A scientist assistant. I wonder what experiments you were subjected to. Perfect. I might have to turn the master volume up a little bit. I can't really hear Phineas too good when he's talking. Uh, we could be a male or a female. I'll be a male. I'll, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll try to make this guy look like me. I feel like that'd be really hard though. It'd take forever. This game could never possibly comprehend my unstoppable beauty. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of just kind of make a really random. Like I said, we're not really going to be able to see our character a whole lot throughout the game. I guess we'll just make a weird-looking vampire guy. I might honestly just go with this. I might just go with a this preset with a crazy hairdo. How about it? Uh, we're getting warmer. There, I like that. Kind of looks like a chick. I might as well have just gone with the. A female at this point, but whatever. Well, I like that green. There we go. That's good. Eyebrow style. Can I unibrow it? Can I get a unibrow? I think that that might be a unibrow. I can't really tell. Um. Um. None of these. Okay. Yeah, we can just go with no eyebrows. How about that? That's perfect. And we'll go with some facial hair, just so we are reminded that our hero is of the male gender. I can't believe they didn't pull a cyberpunk on us and just get rid of the gender option completely. I just make my own custom monster. But, you know, here we go. Perfect. I'll just go with that. 
color up his facial hair to match his hair a little bit more. Perfect. Features! Oh, we could add makeup. I totally forgot. Now he just kind of looks like a looks like a weird like mu mustache prostitute that you'd pick up in the real shady part of town. I like that one. It's like simple to the point, it's sexy, complements everything about the character. Perfect. Uh, let's make him an older dude. Why not? There we go. Set the age up. He's an experienced scientific assistant prostitute. Uh, I don't want to do that. Whoops. Oh, there we go. I just want to do that. All right, we can name him now. What should we name him? I'll just name him after after my my channel, the channel name. We'll name him Moose. Moose. There we go. After Moose Knuckles. He's the the official Moose Knuckles, Outer Worlds guy. Perfect. All right. Strength and dexterity are average. Intelligence is terrible. He's very perceptive and he's very charming. And he's good-natured when in the way of temperament. Looks like this is who we're dealing with. What's what's our highest skill? Handguns. <clears throat> uh, handguns and long guns are good. Heavy weapons are good. Hell yeah. Lying is... <laughs> our highest skill is lying. Damn. Alright. Perfect. Start a game with this character? I believe so. Looks to me your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. Initiate skip jump. Terra 2, Orbiting Laboratory. This game has got some really splendid visuals, in my opinion. <sighs> Shit. Shit indeed. I have to take a big fat piss, so, uh... Hopefully I can beat this cutscene back. Uh, I'll be ah, right back. There you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a... Explosive death. cell death, huh? Oh, yes. Explosive <laughs> cell death. Can't say I've heard of that one. But they don't, they don't exactly teach the important shit in school these days. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! And away we go in our ODST drop pod of glory. Remember the hope. So I guess the hope sort of uh, became some sort of like titanic fable story. Raising your melee weapon skills unlocks the ability to do power and sweep attacks. Wow. This thing working. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne. And he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. 
you'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all the colonists are counting on you. Don't worry, Phineas. I will be your hero. Maybe. Alright, pretty shitty landing. Can only imagine things are about to get shittier. Also, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I have played this game. This isn't a blind playthrough. I haven't beaten the game. I have yet to complete it. So I guess it's blind in the way that I don't know how it ends. Or how anything really pans out. But um, this isn't a blind playthrough. I have played the game. Also, there's the guy we were supposed to meet up with. Uh, we, we done landed on him. That's pretty, pretty funny. Poor guy. <clears throat> As I clear my throat nonchalantly. Alright. So here comes our obligatory tutorial. Also, every time I, like, come up on this, I just, I feel like I'm supposed to slide under it. And then when he just crouches and does that, it's just, it's just anticlimactic. I don't like it. I don't like it. And this game gets a, a 2 out of 10. I'm just kidding. I do really like this game so far. Kinda... Kinda losing track of what I have and haven't said so far, but yeah, well, shit happens, you know? I'm a redundant person. A redundant motherfucker. Alright, got some big alien chicken monsters over there. I'm gonna go ahead and sneak right by them. Hopefully. Yep, alright, everything's going good. I supposed to like wait for them to turn around or something, but whatever. Yeah, it's all it's all working out. There we go. Also, um little pro tip about this game. The fall damage is absolutely nuts. If you're not like really careful going down that, you can basically snap your leg right at the start of the game. This game is kind of max pain like in the way of fall damage. You'll, you'll see what I mean. I mean, come on. Like, I'm going to try and find a safe way down. Oh, yeah, there isn't one. Good thing I have my puffer. Yeah, take a nice little hit. Hey. There's this guy. Totally forgot about him. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. All right, Medicine 5. I'll patch you up, buddy. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh, b b b Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Uh, not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. Yeah, man, you we suck. Patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Oh, this dude like shot himself in the side. And blocked off the exit with those canisters. Do do do. What were you doing out there? You're hiding in a cave, locked off. You're as good as you're as good as dead. Uh, that's kind of jumping the shark a little bit, don't you think? Uh, let's, uh, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Uh, persuade one. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Uh, someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down. You're an idiot. <laughs> Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Um, I might just be mean to this guy for no reason. Why the fuck not? Yeah. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, <laughs> hope this gun serves you better than it did me. All right. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All spacer's choice weapons are now thirty percent less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Hey, you did it. Yes, nailed it that time. Yeah, there you go. You're getting good at that slogan shit, buddy. Uh, what do you know about the hope? Uh, <laughs> so tell me where I am. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. 
be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. That sounds absolutely delicious, uh, Guard Pelham, or whatever the fuck, you're, you're, however you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, alright, I'm off. Could ask him some more shit, but not really particularly interesting. So, alright, uh, see you later, barrels.